going everybody? I am Jason of Jason Drum here today. I'm here bringing you guys my USFL Week 5 Power Rankings. Let's dive right into this. Before we dive into this, I want to hear from you guys. Let me know what your USFL Power Rankings are in the comments below. I want to hear what you guys have to say and I will get back to every single one of you guys who leaves a comment. At number 8, we have the Philadelphia Stars falling down to dead last right now. Falling down one spot after that loss this week. Oh man, this team is a fall from grace. They have made it to every USFL Championship game. But now they are looking in grave danger as they are really falling apart at the worst time right now at the midseason mark. Number seven, we have the Memphis Showboats up one spot from last week with their incredible win over Michigan. But at the same time, this team is still a bottom tier team. Nothing about that game really convinced me otherwise. This team is still a bottom team. And number six, we have the biggest faller of the week and they even won the Birmingham Stallions falling four spots because really, I mean, they got outplayed for the first half of that game. Pittsburgh should have went into the locker room with a lead, but Pittsburgh's offense was completely inept. They had three possessions, back to back to back, and they got field goal, field goal, field goal. If they could play offense, Pittsburgh would have wiped the floor with Birmingham. So the fact that Birmingham has these issues, the internal flaws, is why I cannot put them any higher on this list. At number five, I have the Michigan Panthers down one spot as well as it seemed to take an embarrassing loss to the Gamblers. Or not the Gamblers, the Showboats, but really, they are better than some of these teams, but they are definitely nowhere near as good as they once were in this season. And number four, up two spots, even though they took an L, is the Pittsburgh Maulers. This team really played like one of the most lopsided teams in the USFL. The defense will wreck you, it'll wreck you up, but the offense will just sit there and go, kitty go meow. Meow. That's all they do. They're like, be careful of the kitty, the kitty will kill you. They have, they have no offense. They have no offense whatsoever, especially in the red zone. That has been their biggest woes all year. This team needs an offense, and they are going to be dangerous. Number three, I have the Houston Gamblers up two spots from last week, as well as this team did put on a clinic, absolute clinic against the Philadelphia Stars. Really looking like a legitimate team now. I mean, really, this team is getting scary if you're having to play them right now. At number two, we have the New Jersey Generals up one spot. Even though they did take a loss to the Breakers, they did play the Breakers insanely close the whole way. So, you know, gotta give a little respect on that. But speaking of the Breakers, at number one, we have the New Orleans Breakers. Can't put the 4-0 team any lower. I mean, they play well, although I'm not completely sold on their ability compared to some of these teams. But overall, you gotta respect the 4-0. Well, that's about gonna do it for me today. If you guys did like, don't forget to smash like and subscribe as it helps me out a whole lot. And we're trying to hit 400 subs by the start of the NFL season. So if you can help us hit that milestone, that would be absolutely incredible and insane to think about. I am so grateful for every single one of you guys who checks out my videos. So thank you for spending time of your day with me. And also go ahead and check out this video over here if you want to. This is a video YouTube thinks you should watch next. And I guess with that, I will see you guys later. Peace out and have a good one.